This is a Blaring Out with Eric Blair show tonight. Rocking the red carpet at the premiere for Dio, Dreamers Never Die, the documentary film celebrating the life of heavy metal legend Ronnie James Dio. Here with rock star Lita Ford. Lita, what is important about the Ronnie James Dio documentary Dreamers Never Die to you? Well, I grew up listening to Ronnie. I was a big Rainbow fan. And uh, the music, I mean, of course, you know, all the guys in Rainbow were just main influences in my life, you know. They made my world go round, so to speak. They were my rock icons. And, uh, and, and you know, my life wouldn't be the same if it wasn't for Ronnie and, and the rest of the guys in Rainbow. And, of course, you know, the mighty Black Sabbath. And Ronnie was a good friend and a most powerful vocalist. One of the most powerful vocalists ever in the rock and roll history, you know, so it's like, Got to be here. Got to be here for Ronnie. And Lita, happy belated birthday. Oh, thank you. It seems like your career, you're almost bigger and more famous and rocking more people than ever in your career. Yeah. Longevity is something that I feel blessed to have come full circle in the music industry, you know, because I could have been dead a hundred times yeah. over and... You know, and of course the fans now are just clinging on to rock and they love rock and and uh, and so I'm still here for them and I want them to know that you know we got a lot of good things coming in 2023 and um, I'm not gonna let them down is Gary Hoey gonna produce your new album yeah I work with Gary a lot yeah because that last record you did living like a runaway awesome yes thank you yes and then um, Ronnie I, in your book, it definitely says that Ronnie kind of looked after you when you were on tour yeah. with Black Sabbath. He, he basically yeah. said, if you need any help, I'm here for you. Yeah, yeah. Well, Ronnie was like a big brother and uh, just a really kind soul and genuine human being. And he took care of all of us out on the road. He was just always very consistent, you know, in his personality. He wasn't overboard with drugs or overboard with alcohol. He was just... Our our big brother Ronnie you know and we all loved him for that and still do what do you think when you think of Ronnie James Dio what song stands out to you well we've been playing Holy Diver off the tr just like every day Holy Diver and Stargazer oh wow I know that drum intro on Stargazer yeah, is so Cozy sick Powell. Cozy Powell I yeah. know and the lyrics also Oh, yeah, I mean, God. What um, a lyricist Dio was. Yeah, I mean, well, I think he wrote a lot of the stuff for Sabbath. And I just saw Vinny here, as a matter of fact, speaking of Sabbath. He looks great. A talent, he was one of one, and we can't replace Ronnie. Real quick, what's next for you? Well, we're touring. We've been touring all summer. And I actually uh, have a show in San, San Antonio, Texas this coming weekend. But uh, we do have a new record, and it's not out yet. It's not released yet. And, and basically what I'm doing is putting together a team of people who can give the album uh, what it's worth, which is a lot. So I'm, I'm hoping that I can put together that team for 2023, and we'll have a new record out the beginning of 2023. Fingers crossed. All right, Lita Ford, you're amazing. Thank God bless you. you. Have a good night. Thank you so much. The Blaring Out Show.